Hey guys, what's going on? Whoops, welcome back to Cross Essential 101. My name is Chris, and today we're going to be taking a quick look at James Prochet. Uh, so he is a wide receiver from Southern Methodist University, also known as, more commonly, SMU. Uh, and here we go, I'm actually going to switch over to the database real quick, so we can get a glimpse at his measurements and all that good stuff. Uh, but first, before we get into all of that, he is a senior bull NYT and will be playing for the North squad that the Lions will be coaching, which is one of the main reasons, like Courtney Davis and the other ones that we took a look at yesterday, uh, that we are watching him today. So hopefully we get to see a little bit of a preview of what we're going to be able to see down in Mobile uh, in a couple of weeks. Well, actually, it's about a week from now, so uh, really excited for what that is going to be uh, coming up as. Not really too much longer. That's uh, about a week or so away, I believe. Today's Tuesday? Wednesday already. Wow. So, yeah, I have about a week until practice to start. I think it's next Tuesday. So, a lot to look forward to. Uh, from what I've seen so far, there's quite a bit of tailing at the Senior Bowl. Justin Herbert on the on the South team is going to be a lot of fun. So, anyway, now that we're finally loaded up here, we can finally get into this. Uh, here he is, right here. Uh, a fifth-year senior, actually, from Southern Methodist area. He went over, let's see, unofficially at 5'11", 190, so actually pretty small. Uh, and his birthday, no real concern with age. 24 is a little bit old, but... Uh, not really like egregious, not like a brand new Whedon situation or anything like that. Uh, so, he'll be, assuming he goes on day two or day three, doesn't get the fifth year option, uh, he'll be about 28 by the end of his first contract, so could be worse, I guess. Um, yeah, I'd like to, him to be a little bit younger, but he's a fifth year senior, so hopefully we get to see some of that polish and he has a little bit more experience than some of the other guys in this class. So, a little bit of background here for those of you guys who want to read that. Nothing real too significant. Uh, I mean, looks like he has a little bit of an injury history based on the fact that he didn't start every game. But, oh well. Uh, so for now, we are going to get right into this here with the Florida Atlantic tape. We're going to be watching two games from 2019 with you guys today. And it's actually pretty nice, just 10 minutes, so should be getting a pretty good sample size here. Uh, and he is number three. Oh yeah, he is. Okay. Um, when they said 5'11", I was expecting slot, kind of small, quick. He definitely is very small. Uh, I don't think he's Penny Hart size small, but that... Yeah, he looks like he's probably smaller than Golden Tate. I'd say he might even be closer to 5'10". Because, I mean, he's probably a tight end, so that might be an unfair comparison. But, um, yeah, the size difference is definitely apparent. Oh! Okay. Yeah. I mean, he's a receiver. I'm not really going to say too much about that. <laughs> Okay, he is lining up outside, though, which is interesting. I like the motor and the aggressiveness. Oh, yeah, I like the motor and aggressiveness blocking. Okay. Okay, nice soft cut. Oh, returnability! Excellent! I think this is the first return snap we've seen all season. And of course, it's a fair catch. Okay, good hands. Nice rack ability as well. Good balance. I like that. But again, I'm really going to focus on these hands, right? You get to see those hands go up. Nice ball tracking. And he catches it with his hands. 
and he's been able to manages to stay in balance. Okay, I like the activity. A little bit at the end. Okay, for the last a little bit of a hand there. Nice, good soft cut. Like his feel for space. Again, love the aggressiveness with the blocking already. That was a nice quick cut. Again, hands too, right? Not a full play, but you still get to learn something from it. Gets those hands up. Okay, nice quick cut. I actually really like him so far. Oh my. Okay, now I like him even more. And again, right, the hands. Yes, love seeing this. That is a great hands. Hands play. Awesome. Also, we get a little bit of separation there too, which is great. I think you, I don't think you can. Oh, really? They overturned that. Okay. Still, I like the idea of using the hands there. <sighs> oh well. I would have been a sick catch if you pulled that in. Yeah, just a little bit of separation creation too. Oh, nice quick cut. Oh, nice, quick, hard cut. Perfect. That was a nice sell. I like his patience at the top here. Bam, right here, he kind of sells this. Gets this corner to bite here. And then, bam, nice, quick redirect outside. Excellent move. Okay, deep shot. Triple cover. Goodness. Okay. Like the footwork. That was a great sell. Bam. Nice quick add to feet. Then bam with a nice step out. That was a good pass deflection by the corner though. Okay, look for a quick slant or a run play. Same thing, just put the inside route or a run play. <laughs> Still waiting for an inside route. Oh wow, they're taking a shot on third and five. Okay. He's definitely quick. This change of direction has been fantastic so far. Oh, that was a great spacing concept. Okay, nice job staying engaged with the blocking. Oh, that was a sick cut. Wow, look how he creates the space. Man, nice inside sell, nice head fake. Boom, he has this corner going full spin cycle, completely lost. And then he still redirects this outside. And the, he's basically giving up on the play. That is excellent sell. Wow. That's one of the best plays I've seen route running this season so far, to be honest. Oh man, okay, a little bit of after paint to the top. Nice. Oh, that was must have been a great corner. Unfortunately, you can get hands on it. I don't like it was underthrown. I don't really put that much on him at all. Okay, 
Nice quick concept. Good hands catch again as well. Just short, I think. Yep. Run play. Okay, that was overthrown. Uh, he has 5'11", so that's going to happen. You do have to place that a little bit lower than his size. like where he sat, though. I will focus on that a little bit. Found as much of space as you could in that zone. Okay, like him over. But yeah, again, right? Great job of sitting in that space, so that zone awareness and IQ there is excellent. Just... He's 5'11", so you got to place that a bit lower. If he's 5'11", obviously, he might look closer to 5'10". Okay, the blocking. That For a guy who's that small, he blocks. Look at this. Bam, and then he finishes. Wow, okay. Yeah, he's definitely an aggressive blocker, which is awesome. Love to see that. That shows a lot to me, character-wise. Again, great job sitting in that space, right, finds that space in the zone, and just six, he doesn't stretch, just, and he's right past the first down marker, too, that's good field awareness. Really impressed with his football IQ so far. Cut this in, yep, perfect, great, love to see this. Bam, nice curl route, great change of direction, nice stop and go, gets those hands up as well, turns inside to avoid that corner. A great technical play. I'm a big fan of his. Oh, look at that clean burst off the line. Okay, and shut find the ball in space. Curl, yep, beautiful. Oh, and the space creation is extraordinary. Oh, and play after the catch. I mean, look at how much space there is there. That's, what, one, two, three? That's about four yards of space. That is impressive on a curl route like that. Bam, nice catch, and a nice little stiff arm physicality to extend the play after the catch. Boom, boom. Oh, it was that nice inside cut. That was a nice sharp cut. Nope, nope, wrong guy. My fault. He's at the top of the screen on this one. Still, really nice change of direction to create that space. Bam. And he's six, too. Again, excellent awareness of where he is compared to defenders. Fantastic. And then the... Oh, wow. That's a great play. Okay. Screen pass gets seen a little bit more in space. Well, he likes that stiff arm. Loose move here. Nope, still clean. Okay, so you do want to see a little bit more in terms of variance of release moves. His route running, run after catch, all that stuff is fantastic, but uh, if you're trapping him, you definitely want to work a little bit more on that release. That's probably the one biggest weakness I've seen from him so far. Again, nice cut on that curl route. Okay, nice coverage throw. Great block effort. Okay, nice out route. Was that a double move? That had to be a double move. Because if you watch this initial first cut, Right here, he sells that out, it, just barely off screen, but he sells this a little bit out, so it looks like that's probably a double move where he cuts this out and then up. And especially with that much separation generation, I would not be surprised at all if that were a double move. They're definitely utilizing him to all three levels of the field, too, which is fantastic. We're seeing these nice little quick 
short routes. We're seeing him take a couple of reps in that 15 to 20 yard range. And then they're also sending him deep as well on these vertical steps. So that's been really nice to see. Not as much in that intermediate range, but you're still getting to see that potential there. Okay, another punt return. Like that feel for space and the spacing concept. Oh, look at that burst off the line. Great first step. Oh, nice quick cut. Go play by the corner to knock that free. Again, great job just sitting in that space. Ex excellent field awareness. Boom. Excellent spacing concept. Nice out cut. Still want to see a little bit more hand usage at the release point. That's the one big standout thing that I really want to see improvement. Oh, that was a beautiful angle block. Great job staying engaged. Love it. Okay, nice quick cut. Nice soft cut again. In. Yep, perfect. Perfect. Excellent. I love how he times this too. He times this cut really nice. Safety's still in back pedal. Then he, as soon as he tries to mirror this side, is when he cuts this right in that gap. That is incredible timing on that cut. That's again something I don't really really get the chance to talk about, but He's doing a great job exhibiting that so far. And then, bam, just excellent feel for space. Keeps this shallow enough to where the quarterback doesn't have to stretch this. Just likes himself, trusts himself to make the play after. Brings it in with the hands first. Oh, that was perfect. That's great execution across the board. Bam, nice hands. Oh, yes. That was a fun game to watch. My expectations are high going into the second one. Uh, definitely a lot to like. For sure. Specifically, just his agility, his quickness, his, his cuts. Uh, I mean, his route running ability is up there with some of the better route runners in this class. I'm not going to say he's Jerry Judy, because Judy has a much more developed route tree. Uh, a little bit more pro-style offense as well, but, man. He's not exactly Henry Ruggs either. He's not your freak athlete, but he has enough athleticism for me. Oh, man. Love his versatility in alignment. He has the ability to win outside, but he can also play obviously in the slot. He's more pro typical slot receiver. That looked like he jumped. Maybe he's on the good, I don't know. In? Yep. Great. Executed this while again. It's all about the feel for space and the ability to read the coverage. Watch here on this play. 
it, this is more of a vertical stem, right? But what he's going to do is he's going to slip underneath this defender and get in this open space here, right there. You get to see a little bit of a, a little bit of a soft cut to get him redirected and transitioning into that open space. That's really, really nice high technical aspect point for me. That play, I think he was trying to draw the double, and it worked too. Because you see him run into this defender to take him out of the play. And it frees up that outside receiver for the bracket. That's like, again, it's just a really nice design. Okay, I like the motor there. Ooh, a little bit of a cross step. Okay. Quarterback doing a lot better job in this game. I'll say that much. I think that was a, he wasn't hitting in the first one. Yeah, gang, I have to say I like the blocking. And Chef staying engaged. Nice cut. Oh, almost. Oh my god, how did he get that much space? Y'all see how much space he has? That's almost 10, almost 10 yards of space. How in the world did that happen? I really wish we got to see all 22 or broadcast one with the, like the Skycam view of this. That is a ridiculous amount of separation. I mean, there that defender is not even in the barely in the screen. Oh my gosh! Nice hands catch. Nice, yep. I love that release. Just keep that shallow. Nice shut down option. Slide down. Oh, stop it with it. Okay, nice outside release. Okay, I like the idea. Didn't end up working out, but. Okay, good ball tracking. Kind of wish she brought that in, but that's honestly really good coverage again. And the defender never really tried while I was playing the receiver. One thing, again, I will say about this play is I really want to see more active hand usage. I want to see him be a little bit more aggressive in terms of freeing himself up with those hands. Instead of relying just on his athleticism to win. That's probably my one biggest, biggest issue with him so far. Ooh, nice set. Nice quick cut. And he transitions really nicely into the block. Well done. Oh, that was a really nice deep pass. Dang. Okay, a little bit of a contested catch. Okay, that's activity level and blocking. Said that basically every single snap, which is good. That was, again, great feel for space, right? 
I love where he times this cut right here. He starts with the, the motion and then bam, times it so he gets right in between those two defenders. That was really nicely done. Like, oh, that was great defender vision. And yeah, that's how you create separation like that. You want to see here how at this point in the play, right, this defender is starting to move out. He just kind of moves around the defender and then cuts back in. Excellent feel for space. Same thing. He doesn't get the ball on this one, but he does the exact same thing. Just kind of avoids that defender who's trying to press. Wide open. Oh. Okay, so yeah, again, right? He's the 5'11 guy. He's not exactly going to be a contested catch guy, but I like the principle. I like the ideas he's using. Get those hands up, try and come down with it. Just not able to complete that contested catch. Going for it on 4th and 6th at the 28. Okay, I must have no trust in your kicker. Oh, it worked out. <laughs> that was a beautiful cut. That easy. Easy money. Bam. Nice corner. That's a guy. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't get much easier than that. There's a great separation with the route. It's a, a great play call, great design, obviously, but uh, that's how you execute that play to a T. And then he does this, right? So we just saw on this touchdown play, we see that, oops, one more frame. We see a nice, real hard cut on this corner. Bam, nice quick cut, right? But then, it's a nice play right out of it. Right at, out of halftime. Man, yeah, nice little round cut. Easy place. Easy, excellent route running. Oh, that was great. That's a nice little cut. Same thing here. Oh, okay. No, it's not very cool. Yeah, see, he's trying to win with his feet too much. Just want to see more hand usage just the, at the LLS. And, or, you know what? Nice blocking activity level. Oh, that was excellent. That was great execution by their whole offensive unit. Okay, a little bit of a pick concept. Cool. Okay, a little bit of a usage, but still not. Yeah, he's running on his legs a bit too much. 
It was nice. At least a decent attempt. Man, this quarterback, I don't know what happened in the other game we watched. Maybe it's a different guy. Maybe this guy is the starter and the other the guy in the bowl game was injured or something. So they, they had like a backup in. I, I wasn't paying too much attention to the number, but this quarterback appears to be much better. So yeah, he's now your contested catch guy. And I'm not really going to trust him all that much to go up and win a 50-50 ball and double coverage. That's just not his role. That's not his responsibility. You take a 6'4", 225-pound pound jump ball contested catch guy to do that. But he is great with the technical aspects of the game, particularly in terms of footwork. His cuts are excellent. His change of direction is really impressive. Uh, all those things, that's the type of, of receiver that you're going to get with him. So, here we go. James Crochet from SMU. Actually, I'll just do something over this. I mean, that's too long. Uh, and then... I'm going to go with, you know what, I'll just say route running in general, because he's always everything I like about route running. Uh, and then, I'm not sure whether to go with contested catches, or release moves. I think I'm going to go with release moves uh, for that. So, the two games that we just watched were Florida Atlantic and Temple. Okay, uh, so here are our categories for those of you guys new to the channel. Welcome. Uh, all these guys are guys that we've watched at some point uh, over the course of this year. Hands in contested catching, again, mainly because I'm, he's not going to be that contested guy for you. I'm going to go with an 8. And both of those two points are because of the contested portion. He did do a pretty decent job of getting his hands up and going for the hands catch, but there were a couple of times where he wasn't able to complete that entire process of the play. Uh, so, have to drop him at least one or two points for that. Athleticism is going to be an eight. He doesn't look like an extreme athlete, uh, so much as he does a technical one. Uh, so, it's his ability to change direction. He's probably going to have a great three cone. Uh, should have a really good shuttle, all those types of things. But in terms of, like, 40-yard dash, probably don't expect him to be a 4-3 guy. Now, he could be. If that's the case, I'll absolutely move him up. Uh, but it's he's not really in that, like, Henry Ruggs type of category. Route running is 10. Loved his route running in almost every way. Uh, could have a little bit more developed route street, and we'll get to that in a minute. But uh, in terms of his actual technical route running ability, uh, definitely a huge fan of what he was able to showcase from footwork, to timing, to execution, to everything. It was fantastic. Uh, definitely one of the top five route runners I've watched in the last, I don't know, 12 months. Running after catch ability was great also. Uh, I'm, again, I'm really being really loose with that, but... Uh, yeah, I really liked his ability to make plays after the catch. He extended well. Uh, he was able to make a couple of nice plays. Had that nice stiff arm play in the first game. So... Definitely like his as well. He would send plays, and we got to see some screens and things like that mixed in as well. So that was nice to see. Release moves are going to be the big weakness. Actually, you know, I'm going to go with the three just to kind of knock a little bit more. Uh, you got to see a little bit of release moves with the with the feet and the quickness at the line. Some of those didn't even really work out all that well. Uh, just need to see more hand usage. That is easily the probably the biggest knock on him for me so far. Aside from the contested catching, but even that was like, okay, good coverage, blah, blah, blah. Release moves is going to be the one first thing. Whoever drafts this guy, get him with your receivers coach. The first thing you work on, how to be press coverage. Uh, zone awareness is a 10. Absolutely loved his field vision, awareness, IQ, 
coverage recognition, all that stuff that goes into that. Excellent. Motor and blocking, same thing. Excellent job seeing engaged, which is impressive for a small guy. Uh, great motor, great effort on essentially every single snap. Uh, huge fan from that aspect. Definitely really impressed uh, with that area of his game. Short threat, I almost kind of want to go with a 10, but I feel like a 9 is a little bit more fair uh, for now. Honestly, we got to see some nice slants, got to see some nice quick cuts and everything like that, so... Uh, but I don't know if I necessarily want to put him in that elite, elite, elite category with your Jerry Judy's, for example, who are up here. Uh, Mid-threat, again, not really too much, but I don't think that was because of skill set. I think that was more about usage. So I'm going to go with the 7. Uh, and then deep threat, same thing. I don't really... I'm going to mark him down a little bit because of watching on me go with the 7. In part because I don't really necessarily trust him on those 50-50 deep balls. If you're going to want to throw him the ball on like a vertical stem, it's going to be one of those instances where he has to burn, and I'm not sure he's going to be able to burn every single cor corner at the NFL level. Uh, so, not really sure I was going to work on vertical stems at the next level. Uh, but he has the ability to use that route running to create some space, so we'll see. Especially if he can work on those double moves, not necessarily work on them, but like get into an offense that utilizes them, I think that you're going to be able to see him utilize one or two of those nice double moves and those, like, sluggos, for example. Uh, and that'll kind of be how you utilize him as a deep threat down the field. It's just by getting ways, or finding ways to get him into open space where he can utilize his, his quickness, his change of direction, his lateral ability, his cuts, uh, to to generate that space so that he doesn't have to go up and win those contested catches. So that's the key to success for utilizing him from that standpoint. So with that being said, other than, again, the release moves and uh, contested catching, uh, definitely a huge fan of his. He was, he's really impressed me. He's, this year was Deontay Johnson for me. I loved Deontay out of Toledo last year for very similar reasons. Uh, Deontay, of course, obviously, the biggest difference was in the release moves. Deontay had some of the best release moves I've seen. Uh, but, I mean, it, it, that's a, a high bar. Deontay Johnson was one of the best rookie receivers in the league this year, along with McLaurin. So, uh, I'd say DK Metcalf was up there, too. But, anyway, he was in that top tier of rookie receivers this year. Uh, because, of the, because of his other skill sets, too, like his ability to make plays at the catches route running and all the other things that he was able to show, sort of awareness. So if you can work on those release moves and get him working on beating press coverage, uh, get him with his hand usage, work on uh, just one-on-one -on -one matchups with the corners, and we will get to see that this coming week in Mobile. I'm really excited to see if he can showcase that win those one-on-one -on -one drills, because if he can show me in Mobile, working with our receivers coach, uh, I believe it's Robert Prince, if he can do that, bam, he shoots up my board. So, I'm really, really excited to see if he can improve on that and continue to showcase some of these other abilities in terms of separation generation beyond the line of scrimmage uh, that he's already been able to show us. So, with that being said, this was awesome fun, awesome and fun for me. Hopefully you guys had just as much fun and learned a thing or two along the way as I did. Uh, definitely feel free to like and subscribe for more content like this over the course of the next couple days, weeks, months, as we head into the Senior Bowl. Uh, Shrine Game is currently going on as well as I make these videos, not necessarily right now, but uh, today, tomorrow, etc. So... Very busy time for the Jack community. Definitely a lot of tape to watch, and this is going to be a fun year. But hope to see you guys again soon. For now, have a fantastic rest of your day, and peace out.